Hello and welcome to part 1 of a mini series of how to security videos. In it, I'm going to show you how I installed and configured Microsoft Windows Active Directory. It is intended to support some of my other videos, where I use AD as part of the configuration. To follow this, you will need a copy of the Microsoft Server Operating System. In this particular video, I am using the 2022 edition. Using it, I am going to be assigning my server with a static IP address and changing the server's default host name. I'm going to be installing the Windows Active Directory role as well as configuring it using the same configurations I use in some of my later videos. Finally, I will conclude by creating a standard AD user account. Let's get started by assigning my server with a static IP. There is more than one way to do this in Windows, however in this video, I'm going to do this through the control panel. I am going to assign my server with this IP and keep the default subnet mask that Windows automatically assigns to static IPs starting with 192 and will set the default gateway as my access point which this server is connected to and set the DNS as a loopback address. I can now close both of these windows. Changing the default host name. Again there is more than one way to do this. I am going to do this by right clicking this PC from a file explorer window and selecting the properties option. Here is the default host name of my server. It is what Windows automatically assigns to it. I'm going to change it to something more meaningful. In order for the new host name to be applied, I now need to restart the server. I am now ready to install the Active Directory role which I will do from the Server Manager. From it, I will click the Add Roles and Features button. Then keep clicking the Next button until I get to the Server Roles selection screen. Where I am going to select the Active Directory Domain Services option and allow the wizard to add all the required features. I am now going to keep pressing the next button until I get to the final confirmation screen. From here I'm going to click the install button where the AD service will install. To finish the installation, I am going to click the close button. Now that I have installed the AD role, I can now configure it. Please note that I am going to apply the same settings that I use in some of my other training videos. To do this, I need to go back to the server manager and click this little yellow triangle, which will reveal a drop down menu. From it, I will click the Promote this server to a domain controller button. I will select the Add a new forest option. Then write brothertraining.net as the root domain name. Again, I am using this name as it matches the domain name I use in some of my other training videos. 
then click the next button. From here, I'm going to type a mandatory restore password. Then click the next button again. And again. I'm going to use the word EU as the NetBIOS name. Then continue by clicking the next button until I get to the final installation screen. where I will click the install button. My test server is now installing Active Directory using the settings I just gave it. Windows will eventually need to restart before it can work as a domain controller. When it does, I'm going to click the close button and wait for my server to restart. I am now going to conclude this video by creating an AD user account. To do this, I'm going to click the Tools button from the Server Manager. Then click the Active Directory Users and Computers button from the drop down. From this left hand menu, I need to find the Users folder and right click it, where I need to select the New option followed by the user option. I am now going to create a new user account that I use in some of my other training videos. Since I want to use this account with a brother device, in other words, not a human being, I'm going to unselect the option that requires the password to be changed at first logon. I am also going to select the options to prevent this password from being changed or from expiring. Finally, I'm going to click the next button followed by the finish button. Here is my new user. I will finish this video with a short summary. I started by assigning my Windows server with a static IP address. I then changed its host name. After this, I installed the Windows Active Directory role and then configured it, making my server into a domain controller. I finally created a user account that I will use in later videos. Links to all these other videos can be found in the description, and a link to part 2, which explains how to set up certificate services, is now on the screen. Thank you for watching.